Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of City Skylines with me, CityZilla. And if you are new to the channel, welcome. We are in the city of Crater Lake, where we are going to be building out a tech downtown today. And so I did want to jump into a couple little fixes that I made off camera. I went ahead and added in this uh, like large cemetery. And anybody who's familiar with my uh, Zilla Wood build, um, I like to do this. And I like to imagine that this is all just one cemetery rather than six kind of smaller ones put together. But we were kind of right in the line between uh, with a death wave. And so I decided that building this out was just going to give us a nice little buffer. I did also um, extend out uh, this neighborhood a little bit just so that we can get some small zoning right here. I felt like having this empty space wasn't going to be super realistic. But then I also added in some light landscaping around the freeway. I'd, I didn't do the full thing. We still have some empty spaces. But this empty like grass area was really bothering me. It was like every time I looked at it, it just looked like it needed to have something there. And so I just put some foliage in and then just some trees with some palm trees and stuff to uh, kind of give it some texture. And I think it definitely looks a lot better. And so um, the idea I have for this tech downtown is actually pretty elaborate. This is probably going to take quite a few episodes for us to totally build it out, but I'm really excited about it. It involves the use of this hill. And I was playing with the notion of already terracing one side of this, but we're going to end up terracing this whole hill and doing some really cool like tech headquarters and thinking like Apple or any of those major like brands like Google or anything, how they have those just large elaborate headquarters. I want to try to use the high tech um, industries buildings and then create some really nice areas like that. But then we're also going to do some homes and everything like that. And then we're going to lead into our downtown, which is actually going to be over here on this uh, convergence of the two rivers. And I felt like this was going to be a really good location because in real life, um, especially through throughout history, it was really common for points like this to be extremely strategic. And so a lot of castles and a lot of uh, really old buildings tend to be placed right here. And a lot of modern day cities are also on the convergence of two rivers. And it's just because um, back in the day they would have to travel up and down the river. And so being able to control that was extremely powerful. And so Let's go ahead and jump right in. The first thing we need to do is purchase this square. So we're going to go like that. Bada bing. And then um, so my idea is we will start terracing this guy from the top and going all the way down. And then we'll, we will create a little level over here. I want to create a little bit of a beachfront or riverfront area since this is already so close to the water. I think it's going to really allow us to do some keys and then maybe even some piers and stuff. And then we'll be able to do probably our first ferry line, have the ferry go down here somewhere or even maybe come out all the way out here to the beach. But we'll kind of see. But um, the first thing we need to do is uh, do a little highway upgrade. So we need to delete this guy and then we are just going to put this underground real quick. And there we go. And then um, we do need to do some finagling for this. Like you can already see this just looks terrible. And so we're going to upgrade this to a ground piece. We're going to go like that. And then what we're going to do is we are going to level these guys out. So I want that to be like right there. And then we're going to go underground and we're going to go like right here. And then we're going to come all the way to this side and do the same thing. So I want that to be like right there. And then let's go above ground. I want that to be the same. And these ones actually look pretty good. I think we may move this one just a smidge. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And then what we'll do now is jump into the network multi-tool and we will go to the slope mode. And if anybody is interested in the mods that I'm using, there is a link in the description down below. So go ahead and click that. It brings you over to Steam and all the mods that I use within this build. And we're going to go ahead and hit enter. And what that's going to do is just give us a nice flat uh, tunnel, which is really what we want to try to go for here. And then the last thing I want to do is um, actually jump out of here and just line these up. And you know what? I think that looks pretty good. I don't particularly like this slope, but it's stuff that you see in real life. And so I'm not really worried about it. And then now all we need to do is turn that road piece around. So we're going to go like this, bada bing, go like that. Yeah, look at that. Perfect. And so now what we can do is start terracing this out. And so I know I want to create a little ledge right here. And then we are actually going to have this piece kind of cut across. And so I want this to be at a decent level. So maybe we'll actually start doing this one first. So we'll start off at the top and we'll probably choose this height. We'll go ahead and get rid of that guy. And we'll go like that and we will make this our first little plateau. We'll come down here and make this our second one. And we're still gonna have to wait till we get that other square before we really get this whole thing going, but it, we're still gonna be able to get most of it, which is the important part. So then we're gonna come down here 
And so that is 193.35. So we're still pretty high from the other side. So I would like to get one more ledge down before we make kind of a plateau. And I'm going to show you guys what I got in mind here. I think it's going to be really cool. So we're going to come down here. That's definitely closer. We're still a little high. I think we could even go a little bit lower, but yeah, there we go. And then um, let's just go a smidge lower. 169. Oh, yeah. So that's actually good right there. We're at about the same level, which is really what I want to try to go for here. Because we're going to need to provide access, and that's really the toughest part about all this. So then let's come up here, and I want to create a nice... Yeah, there you go. Perfect. And now we should be able to come up here and kind of clean that up. And we'll do the same thing up here. Even though I really don't know if we're going to be doing anything at the top just yet. We're going to definitely have to wait until we get a little more land. So then we're going to go like this. We're going to follow this guy all the way down. And I think we need to go a little lower for that one. So we'll go like right here. And then we'll probably bring this out even further. So yeah, we'll go like right there. And I'm just going to finish this up real quick. And there we go. We got a pretty good uh, little rough idea of what our what our terrace is going to look like. I do want that to be level, though. I don't want that um, weird little shape right there. Yeah, there we go. And so I have chosen a height right here that we wind up doing our bridge across. But then we need to choose a height down here. So I think we're going to go off of this road and just go like this. Let's see how big of a ledge we get. Yeah, you know what? That's actually not bad right there. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then this will be where... Uh, kind of build out some more this we're not going to really be focusing on that area for this episode but I think that's pretty good I think we may even choose a height in here too yeah just because I don't want it to be like a cliff per se though I mean some cities do have cliffs so it's not unheard of but I would prefer it to be more gradual especially since a lot of these are just going to be uh, low density housing and so we'll go like that and then let's go ahead and hit the slope tool and so we're going to go like this and we're going to slope this guy up and then we're going to go like that and we're going to do the same thing right here and so we created a little bit of a plateau here in the middle so that we can attach up a road and really get um, a nice clean connection there. And so now what we need to do is um, come in here and I want to make sure that our road is at a 90 degree angle. And so we're going to come in here. We're going to come out. We're going to go like this. And I think we're going to go. You know, what? that's actually not bad right there. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to get where this angle is. So then we are going to go like this and we're going to go on the ground now. And I would prefer the bridge to be as flat as possible. We'll have a little bit of a down, but I really don't think having the bridge go extremely steep is really realistic. But then it also allows us an opportunity to do some roads underneath it and stuff and really do some fun stuff. And so, yeah, there we go. That actually doesn't look bad, but then it um, still allows us room to kind of go around and we still get that flat piece down there, which is great. And so now what I want to do is um, go ahead and clear out this space. So let's grab our level and we want it to be level with this guy. So we're just going to go ahead and grab that guy right now. Go like this. And then we are going to increase our brush size. That's a little too big. And then we want to create a nice clean angle on this side. And you know what? I think that actually looks pretty good. And we're not going to focus on the terraforming outside of this area just yet because I, I really don't want to start cutting into any of the mountains like this guy right here. And then I, I want to go back into a more natural flow down here. So I don't I'm not going to mess with any of these slopes because I think we are going to eventually expand this downtown going down here and then probably over here as well. And then we're going to end up doing that huge nature reserve around here, which I think is going to be great. So maybe we'll go like this and there's one poor rock there. He lost all his buddies. And so now what I want to do is create a roundabout in the middle. So we are going to jump in here. We're going to go to rural roads. We're going to come out here. And I think we're going to do it like right there. Mm, yeah, I think that's pretty good. Yeah, there we go. I actually think that um looks really good. I, it's better than I was anticipating. But then we will grab this guy and I'm just going to hook these up for right now because I want to make sure that um, we can get those in. So then we will come out here and we will go up. Yeah, there we go. So that is um, probably going to be more of a residential area. But then let's um, jump into, we don't need a six lane road. Oh, you know, we, it's so funny. We did like a asymmetric there. I don't know why we did that. So we're going to go all the way down, go like that. And then what I want to do with this guy is 
I want it to follow the coastline, but I want to leave enough zoning for us to be able to do um, some nice little waterfront areas with uh, like some restaurants and stuff like that. We're not going to actually do any um, zoning, I don't believe, but we might. So then we will come down here and we will go like right there and then we will follow this guy down. And there we go. There's our basic uh, little outline for this. And I think it's going to be really nice. I played around with quite a few ideas for this, but uh, we'll kind of see how it comes out. So then now what I want to do is jump into a three lane one way road. And what we are going to do is create some little back and forths here. And I'm just going to barely touch the grids on the on either side because I want to curve it into the road since we are coming at an angle. And I think we're going to do four out. I think that's probably good. Yeah, we'll go like that, go like that. And then we're going to jump into another road and we're going to do a road down the middle. I really think this is going to help us out a lot because then what we can do too is um, actually curve this guy in. Yeah, there we go. And so the idea is we're going to have all of our IT buildings here. I think we're going to do a transit hub plaza right there. Probably our hospital and stuff over here. I think it's going to end up coming out pretty good. I've, and there we go. I hooked them all up. And so now what we need to do is um, just change the orientation of them. So we'll probably have this one go right. And we'll have this one go left. And we'll have this one go right. We'll have this one go left. And this is a common strategy used in downtowns as well. Um, they just kind of flip back and forth. And then if you get a really high traffic area, then they'll just do multiple one ways leading in one direction. And you know what? I think that is, uh, I think that is perfect. And so I do want to do that little road across as well. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to grab this guy and we are going to go, I actually think we might be able to go straight across. Yeah. You know what? I think this is actually going to work out. Nice. Look at that. And the reason we're doing this road is because we want um, to provide that access. Again, you know, I, I talk about it so much, but man, it is just so important. Yeah, there we go. I ended up finagling it in a little bit over here, but I think it would be pretty good. And, um, this would provide some really good views of the city, too. I think this would just be great. I think we will um, smoothen this one out, too. It kind of looks like it might be a little bumpy. No, it's not. But then um, this just provides that much needed access back here, which I think would be really what we're trying to go for here. And then this is where I think we're going to do one of our headquarters as well. So this would just be much needed. And so let's come in here and we are going to paint this all as our IT district. Bada bing. And then let's um, go ahead and paint all of this as a separate district. And if you guys want to come up with some cool names for this, something like rock related or tech related. And so let's go ahead and zone this in. So we are going to do zoning, I think, on this intersection. So if we go like that, yeah, I think this is going to be good. And then let's go ahead and do some high high density commercial as well. We don't really have a lot of high density commercial. And I think that this would be a really good spot for it. And then um, let's go ahead and do residential back here. And so we are actually going to do... A, commercial on these front sides. So we're going to get rid of that guy. I was kind of getting ahead of myself there. So let's go like this. And then we are going to come all the way down here. And then um, where else could we do commercial? So actually, you know what? I think that's probably good for this area because then they can drive over there and then it's actually going to make it a little more quiet for these people. All right, there we go. And then I think we will do, actually, we don't need to do crosswalks because all these uh, intersections are really close to each other. We're going to leave this outside um, without zoning. We're going to do something cool right here. I think right here we're just going to do like a waterfront area, something really nice. But then I'm going to um, lay down some water pipes and do electricity real quick. Ooh, actually, you know what? It's so funny. We um, still have this drawing over here, so we need to connect this guy up real quick. So that would be kind of weird to have that like that if they're like, all right, we got to get on this dirt road to get to the downtown. <laughs> I don't think um, I don't think that would be great for like investors. Yeah, there we go. Nice little swooping curve. It's going to be nice as we build this area out too. I think it's going to come together really well. And so now I'm just going to jump into water and fill it up real quick. All right. And so now we can unpause it. And it looks like we got our first little guys coming in here. And so now what we need to do is services first before everybody starts losing their, losing their minds. And so what I want to do is place a hospital right there. And what we're going to do is put a nice little parking lot right next to it. Not a huge one, just enough for uh, 
for a hospital. I mean, hospitals a lot of times have have to have parking lots. I mean, because they're, they're huge. And so we'll go like that. And then let's go ahead and put in some spaces. Yeah, there we go. So now we got a nice little uh, little parking lot for this guy. Does he have water? I'm guessing these guys should. Ooh, our water availability is really bad. Let's actually we'll place one right there. And then I'm um, hoping it connects up, but maybe we're just going to connect it. It looks like we're going to need electricity here soon, too. All right. Well, at least we got that covered for right now. So then um, I want to do the fire headquarters and then we're going to do the police headquarters as well. And then I think we're going to do a little cemetery right here because um, a lot of times, you, I mean, cemeteries are needed everywhere. And so having it right here wouldn't, you know, be too unrealistic. I was hoping to get more of a connection over here, but I, I don't know if that's really going to work out for us. Because what we need is to be able to fit in the child health care and the elder care. And they're kind of big buildings, I guess. That one does fit there. So then let's see if the, you know what, actually, that's actually not terrible. Um, it's not exactly what I was going for, but because I don't necessarily like this road, but I think it works for what we're trying to do here. And, and then it helps to break up this grid pattern, which is an added bonus of that. I think it would work better if it was a little further back, but I think the way that this ended up working out, that's probably our best bet. And so let's go ahead and do our school as well, since these are going to be super important. So let's come in here. We're going to go like right there and we're going to do something similar to what we've always done. But I think what we're going to do is um, we're going to put them both together. And then I want to do like a nice uh, little track area in the back. Cause I mean, schools normally have like really big, really big yards with them. So we're going to go like that, go like that. And then let's see if we can, we should be able to fit the little playground in here. Bada bing. Look at that. And then we are going to jump into a handy dandy fence, go like this. And then I would like it to be, because it looks like that's like gravel. So we'll come in here. Um, the, the theme I'm using though, the gravel is kind of like a gray. It's not really the same, but hey, there you go. No, you know what? That actually looks amazing. Uh, hashtag best track field ever. And then let's jump into our lovely little young Linden. And we will just trace this guy around up. Oh, wrong tree. We do not want to do palm trees. We'll go like that. Bada bing. Come like this. And look at that elementary school of the year right here. Does look like our power lines are disconnected, but they should connect up here soon. So especially those. Oh, there you go. And these are growing in just fine. Did I, you know, we, um, we forgot to do IT cluster. I forgot to do IT. Yeah, there you go. All these poor office buildings look they're all those little square guys too and we could do the self-sufficient in here too but i think we've really kind of overdone those and so i think we are going to keep that like that um, but let's see if we can fit in this big park in here and so we'll go like this and then let's just go ahead and extend these little pathways so we're going to go gravel and you know what that looks pretty good let's just jump into our little standard tree now though and uh kind of fill these in there you go that's a pretty nice little park it's not overdone but it's enough I like the schooling area too. Kind of wish that we had um, gotten some more in here, but maybe we can actually just place a couple more trees in here. Yeah, there you go. Cause then it's at least a little bit better of a yard area, but this would be where you'd like run your mile or whatever um, you had to do. And so, all right. And so now what we need to do is work on some mass transit right now. The only way over here is through road and it would just be a really big issue. And so what I want to do is do, um, this guy right here and I think what we'll do is actually create a nice little plaza out of it so if we jump in here I want to go to our nice little pedestrian road and I had recently seen um joy build cities use this and I just thought it was so awesome um such an awesome idea and so we'll go like this and because I normally don't use the pedestrian roads either but in, in a lot of cases they definitely are the best best bet because they help you to get that look so we will go like this. So we're going to come up here and then we're going to do the same thing on this side. So then we're going to connect this guy up. And then what we're going to do is just do uh, some simple connections. We're not going to really be doing anything crazy. Why is that node there? And there we go. Something super, super easy. And then we will probably do some really nice entrances on either sides of this. And then we'll do um, some stalls and stuff. So what I want to do is um, jump in here and we will jump to this smaller guy. And I'm going to remove the zoning around this because I want to use the organic and local produce because it gives you those nice little shops. 
that we've been doing uh, a lot of times. It really just for areas like this, those the organic and local produce just work out so well. And it's so funny. I've gone through periods where I use the organic and local produce quite a bit. And then I've gone through periods where I don't. Um, but they're just, they really offer so much. And so now what we should be able to do is just get some really tiny stalls in there. I think that's going to be fantastic. And so I do want to do another little path in here. So I think we're going to go, and then I think what we're going to do is go back to those cobblestones that we used on our little circle park. It's because I think they look really good. Yeah, there we go. That actually looks pretty good. And then I think what we're going to do is use a different curb on this one. Um, so let's actually keep it on pause too. So we'll go like that and let's use these curb networks large. And again, if anybody's interested in my mods, the link is in the description. And so we are going to go all the way down here and then we're going to go like this. And so now what I want to do is jump into some little circle planters and we're going to do like some uh, barricade, barricade type things for the rest of this area and I think it's just gonna look really good so if we yeah you know what that's actually not a bad spacing right there so if we go like that yeah there we go and then what that's gonna do is just protect protect the pedestrians off of uh, the sidewalk and so we'll copy the same thing over here nice and so I think that actually looks really good and it affords us an area to be able to um, do some pavement and stuff I really wanted to do like a some sort of park entrance in here but I guess we don't need to do you know what, I guess we could do, let's go ahead. So I think maybe we'll keep only that other side as cobblestone, even though we created this nice little space. So let's go ahead and remove this guy. Cause what I want would like to do is do um, some nice little restaurants and stuff. So if we go like that, jump in here to our path, cause then we can come over here and we can do like a park entrance. And so let's actually do that. Let's, um, we'll come in here and we will paint this as a park. Yeah, there we go. And then um, part of me likes that and a part of me doesn't like that. I think it's too high. And then let's go ahead and place a main park gate over here and we'll do one of the bigger ones just cause we can. And then that way what we can do is um, actually come in here and do a nice little restaurant. I think that would just be fantastic. Come up here and then let's uh, jump in here. Look for a little restaurant. So park cafe. Turn this guy around. And I think these will just be probably like one big restaurant that's uh, got like two little patio areas, even like two order areas. Actually, you know what? Maybe we'll just do the one because I think this space over here would be a little too cramped. So we'll go like that and then let's uh, jump into our plaza. Yeah, there we go. That looks great. I think we're going to lose this zoning, but I think it would be good to have this. That just looks fantastic. I think we're going to do some of those uh, circle planters here. Yeah, there we go. And then let's um, go ahead and start decorating up these small little planters. So I think what we're going to do is do these young lindens. Because I really just like the look of them and I think they fit perfect for these little planters. And so I'm going to just start do a starting point and we're going to skip every... We're going to do a tree every other one. Yeah, there we go. That actually looks really good. And then we are going to jump into a light... And I think we're just going to use like one of the university lights or the park lights because I think they look really good. They're simple, but they give off some good light. So I think we're going to do this. Yeah, park street light because it's got these three little lights. I think that's fantastic. I'm just going to place them all the way around. And there we go. So now we have um, little planters and trees all the way around. And so let's actually jump in here and paint this in and see what we're looking at right now. So I, I don't want it to look weird. So we'll go like that. And so we definitely have a couple areas where I think we'll fill this in with grass. So let's jump into our little grass guy. We will go to this non-conforming block, the eight meter. And we will just do rows across and we'll have to adjust it. But all right, so I um, had forgotten to do organic and local produce. So now we're just gonna have to wait for the commercial to kind of come back in. But I'm gonna go ahead and just do some simple landscaping in here. I think I'm just gonna do uh, kind of similar to what we've been doing. I'm just gonna do the one little rock and then um, the bush around. And cause I think it's just a really clean look. I think for over here, we're gonna do it as well. And then let's go ahead and do some smaller rocks as well. And then I'll just do a couple little palm trees. 
All right, and here we go. We got our lovely little, look at the sustainable cuisine, little restaurant. This is great. Um, and then we got a little hostel in here, which is fun. Um, I don't know if this one blends in as well as I was hoping. We might end up getting rid of that. But I think this little guy, everything bamboo, this is like a little boutique, like bamboo store. That would be awesome to have right here. And we really just want to try to get that a little bit of a vibe going on. I think we may end up doing a little bit of a curb just along this guy. I don't necessarily want this to all be empty. So I think maybe if we just follow the, the path along with this, it's just going to give us a little more textures. Yeah, there we go. And then what I'm going to do is just jump in here and um, I ended up using these little purple trees on top of them for the other sides. And I think, again, this is just going to really help out the area a lot. I don't know why we just lost that building, but he decided to move out that quickly. He was like, this is not going to work out. But yeah, look at that. It just kind of cleaned it up. And then um, we could actually just put some small little chairs in there. Tables, maybe some uh, rubbish bins, as people in the UK like to say. I think that's good. These are just like little outdoor seating areas. This would actually be really nice. We'll do a little trash can. I oh, look at this. It's like a whole little market. That's great. That's actually a good one. The semi is doing a delivery. I kind of wish, I mean, we would probably have something in place where they would have to do this at night. But, man, I think this looks great. I just, why is, I want these to grow in. Come on, guys. We had an awesome, like a great little store there and it just went under. Oh, yeah, look at that one. That one's great. If we could just get the rest of them like that, that would be fantastic. But, um... I think that's good you know um now we need to hook up our metro let's actually finish this side first because this kind of looks a little weird so we will uh, jump over here and i think we're going to switch over to the regular park path and so we will curve this guy down and then let's go ahead and connect this guy up I'm not going to do again we're not i don't charge for parks and so just not a thing where i'm from unless it's like a, a national park or something like, what, what are we paying for for security? Like, you still would have park police, but it wouldn't be um, something that you would actually actively pay for unless there's something inside, like a zoo or something really big, you know? We're going to go like that, and we're just going to keep it simple. Honestly, I think that might just be it. Maybe we'll do, um, like, two gazebos. Because this really isn't a big area. It would be more about the the grassland than anything else, and so... I think what we'll do is we will go to that little standard oak tree and we'll just dot a few of these guys. Not a lot. We'll just kind of go around. Yeah, look at that. That's great. And then I think I'm going to line these with the little bushes. Perfect. Look at that. And then um, let's just do some. Actually, you know what? We won't do any foliage because especially for the elder care, this would be where uh, like people would walk around and stuff. And so like going outside would be really nice. Because we could even do like just a small couple of bench tables, tables, come out here and just kind of place these guys in there. Yeah, this would just be so nice. Like go outside and sit down and like this one's already got a little uh, gazebo kind of thing going on. And so I think that looks good. And I actually really like how our, um, how this thing turned out. I had initially thought it was going to look a little different, but I actually like how these little stalls ended up here and we got some bigger stores over here. We've got the cobblestone. I, again, I kind of wish it was facing the downtown, but I think it looks good. And then we got this little bridge. I don't particularly like this bridge, but maybe we can actually switch it over to this guy. Maybe it'll look better. Let's see. Yeah, you know what? That actually does look better. It's like such a small little thing, too, and I don't know why it would, really wouldn't make that big of a difference, but it does look better, though. And I like that we got the little restaurant, and then I put the little restaurant over here, too. Just to kind of fill in the space. Um, but now what we need to do is hook up our metro line. And so this is going to be kind of a little bit of a project. Ooh, we're running low on power. Let's actually... So we have two geothermals right here. We could do one of these guys. We don't have any yet, but it's... All right, maybe we will... Let's go ahead and build out an area for this. I don't want to just kind of place it in. So maybe we'll um, place this guy right there. And then let's uh, go to an industrial road. You know it actually doesn't look bad. We did have to grade out a little bit of a space for it, but yeah, there we go. And then um, what we can do is do a fence around it because this would be... Uh, they have one of these on the way out to... Um, like in between Los Angeles and Las Vegas. They have three of them. They're huge. They're not updraft towers. Um, they're uh, solar light towers where on the ground 
are these are mirrors, which I think these still might be mirrors or solar panels. I'm not sure, but it reflects the light onto the top of the tower where it boils water, I believe. And it creates steam, which turns turbines. And there's three huge ones, gigantic. And it's kind of funny when they built them, they were still adjusting the mirrors. And so they would hit you on the freeway and it would be uh, pretty, pretty crazy. Luckily, that was only for a little while. But yeah, and there we go. And then normally, I don't believe you have a lot of zoning around these because or a lot of uh, plants because I think there's like a fire risk with these. Yeah, you because they're so hot. So we're not going to do any um, any sort of landscaping. But I think that's good. And, and it um actually allows us because we've got the two geothermals right here. And then we have the like five geothermals over here, six. Yeah, which man, that held us up for a while. All right, and so now I'm um, back to what we are doing. Uh, we need to, first off, upgrade this guy. So we are going to have to delete this guy. And I don't know why this is doing. Ever since the update, it's like, it just, it's so crazy. And look at all those people. Poor guys, look at that. This is like crazy. There's so many people there. They're all suspended now. They don't even know. We've like frozen time. They're just standing there. They think they're still waiting for the Metro, but uh, they're literally suspended in space. And so um, what we need to do is we need to use this guy because what we need is um, more stations. So the other one just had two stations. This one actually has four. And so now we technically have eight, eight different directions if we wanted to or just four separate lines. And so it's really going to it's really gonna help us out a lot. And so now we uh, just need to connect it up, go like this, bada bing. And one of the things that's kind of weird with this is it kind of clips a little bit on that far side. So you gotta be kind of careful with this. Yeah, there you go. And so we will just kind of shift that over until it gets into a little bit better of a spot. I think we will move the pillar. It's better, it's kind of wavy, but just cause we need it to be at a straight angle. Whereas in real life, they would have probably retrofitted a little bit better of a spot for that. And it's so funny, um, we had an issue with one of our little lines and I completely forgot to address it. So we actually need to get rid of these, those stops right there. It's um, causing all these trains to like back up and have main, major, major issues. And so we're having issues with some of our trams. Like you can see all these trams just can't get around because they were stopping there and then they're having to stop in the intersections. We're having a similar issue over here too where... It's kind of weird. It's almost like a bug. I think it's related to the tram roads that I'm using. That's my best guess. Um, they get stuck and then the tram just can't continue going on. And then the trams end up having huge backups. But And so now um, all of our metro lines should automatically reconfigure. Yeah, it looks like they've already done so. And so what I'm thinking is we will pause the game. And we will come in here. Delete this guy. Yeah, there we go. That actually looks pretty good. It uh, worked out really well. Initially, I couldn't get the connection to get on there just right, but it appears as though we have gotten it. And so now what I want to do is um, smoothen these out. So we're going to jump into the slope tool. And then um, one of the things that I'd identified was that if the city was building this out, I think they would extend out some more lines. So I think what we're going to do is we are going to do another station right here. Not more lines, more uh, stations. So we're going to go like right there. And then we will take our metro line and just connect this guy up. And there we go. Look at that. Easy schmeasy. And then um, this is kind of at a weird slope. Our height is much higher on the other side. And so we had decided to keep it higher because this was coming down. And so this whole area is um, pretty tall. But it's just because we wanted to keep that height as we come down the hill. But. Oh, that's okay. Now we have added another line, which is just fantastic. And so now what I'm thinking is we will grab our, let's go ahead and turn back on snapping. We will come up over here. Nice. Look at that. And then I think we're going to do an underground one over here. I feel like this would really be a great opportunity to put in a stop like right there. And then let's go ahead and connect this guy up. And then what I'm going to do is probably just follow the road with this. So we'll come up here and we'll just kind of follow the road along. Because then it just makes it a little easier to um, plop in stations in the future if we decide to. And there we go. And then um, because of this weird slope, I'm actually going to jump in here. And go like this. Grab our lowest point. Grab the station. And then hit enter. 
what that's going to do is just make it more gradual. This, uh, the whole train differences in this game are, are definitely a little weird. So then we're going to go like that. Just makes it more realistic. Um, even having it that sharp is something that you definitely see in cities. It does look like we're starting to have trash issues over here as well. We need to um, probably make a little service center. Maybe we'll do that one. New, do something back here. I didn't even think about trash. And so now we um, should be good. So let's go ahead and jump over to our new station. So, and then we want to be on this far side. So we'll go like that. We'll come in here. Since we have to pass through there, we will do a station there. We will come in here, go like that. Then we will come underground, go like that. And then we will come up here and then we will just come back. And so my hope is that with this station now, we could have basically a whole other network of underground metros because this is something that can really save your city a lot. I know in Zillowood, it was something that we really focused on like our um, un sunken platform station ended up having like, I don't know, it was like 3,000 people a week. It was crazy. All right, so we we should be able to hit unpause now. And so let's jump in here and then go to Metro. And we want to go to our new line and we want to turn this into the high capacity and see how many trains it's going to give us. Um, you know what? Four trains might actually be good. Man, look how busy this place is. Okay, so that was our new line. Where did it go? Oh, it was because I just changed to the new, uh, new trains. Let's um, change the color. So it was green, blue, and we can change the name. I, I don't really name metros, but it does help out. So uh, terminal to tech downtown. Yeah, there you go. Because it, it makes it a little easier to identify them too in the future instead of like, which one are we looking at? Man, look how busy this is. I'm really hoping those new metro lines should uh, alleviate even more pressure off of our tram network because our tram network is definitely uh, pushed to the limit. But look how many people are waiting here. This is just crazy. And in our buses, what's going on back here? What line is this? So this one's only got two, but it's got nine buses. I, I don't think we need nine buses. So we'll drop down to five. Let's, let's look at this too. I guess we haven't looked at our bus lines in a while. I mean, this one's pretty full though. Yeah, I think 14 is pretty good. We had dropped those down when we created them, but so let's look at our other metros now. Man, look how many people are out here. This is crazy. We don't have some sort of blockage, do we? Let's see how many people are getting on our new uh, blue line. That's kind of funny. We already have a dark blue, so let's actually go orange. Yeah, there you go. We don't have an orange. Man, yeah, look at this. This area was underserved. Um, we didn't have, I mean, there was a station right here and a station right there. I mean, it had trams, so it could still get to those other areas, but these metros are definitely faster. Let's go ahead and see if this um, underground one is being utilized. I have a feeling it is, but... Oh, yeah, look at that. I mean, it's not mountains of people, but it's definitely people. And so now I think we can even um, jump in here and look and see if we have any crazy amounts. Oh, my God, so 256. Where is... The... Oh, yeah, look at that. That's just crazy. Let's see, this is a really steep hill. <laughs> I wonder if the metros can even make that. That's, I should probably draw that around a little better. I think I'm going to, I don't feel safe with that. That's, I'm kind of embarrassed by that. <laughs> I mean, that's, look at that thing. It's like a roller coaster. Like you could probably, roller coaster enthusiasts would probably be going on this metro. They'd be talking about it like, man, Crater Lake just built this uh, metro that's got like a like a 30% grade. Okay, so it looks as though doing a little bit of a bridge is going to be our best bet. And so what I'm going to do is just uh, take this bridge and then just make the tunnel piece a little bit smaller. I've done this in the past too for anybody who's uh, unfamiliar with this type of uh, move it kind of jargon. So what you can do is just put the nodes really close together and as long as they're not too close then you can create a nice little uh, exit like that. And it works out really well. But I think this is going to be the only way that we can get it without that slope being like that. Because I think it was just really unrealistic. But let's go ahead and see. Um, I think we disconnected our power though. Oh uh, yeah, there we go. So that actually um, seems to work out really well. And I actually like the aesthetic of it too. Because um, we could... Um, we're still going to do something cool with here, but I think it um, just makes it a little more realistic and it also kind of accentuates how this is up on a plateau. And so I really like it. Now, the last thing we need to do is trash. We really need to um, 
figure out like a waste transfer facility and these aren't supposed to have um pollution around them so i think maybe if we just come back here we will um, create just a small little industrial area for this area because you would still need to have um, other industrial services as well. Like maybe water treatment would be back here or something like that. At least from what I know, I'm, I'm not a pro. Most of my experience comes in with property management and stuff like that. And so but there we go. And so you know what? This street feels really long to just have like one building on it. it feels really weird. I think we'll go like that. And then let's actually, we're just going to delete that guy. And then it looks like we need water back here too. And voila, look at that. Man, this is looking great. And we still got so much that we need to do, but I really like how this plaza looks. I think we did a good job and it looks so alive. Oh man, it just is, this is so great. All these people walking and all these people waiting for the Metro. I'm pretty sure those metros can service this amount of people because I know it's 500 people per train. But let's see if they're having any issues. I mean like 270. Yeah, so they picked up everybody. That's that's not a problem. It's just going to be really busy, especially with that industrial area right there. We kind of knew. We we connected up to underserviced areas. Let's see if these people are stuck behind a train. Yeah, they are. So this could potentially become a problem. We'll see, though. Yeah, look at that. It looks like a ton of people just got off. So now anybody who wants to work in the tech industry can now just take the underground metro. We're really getting spiffy here. We're doing a lot. But I think on the next episode, we are going to do something really cool here. I want to do like a, the tech company headquarters, like I told you, something like, you know, like the Apple or Google or like what I've seen is um, Qualcomm's in, uh, in San Jose or Palo Alto. It's just really cool. Um, some really cool ideas. If you guys have any suggestions for this, go ahead and let me know. There is really just so much that we can do for the city especially in this like a uh, modern kind of vibe it looks like we may have won a, a a football game i wonder if we did oh yeah look at all this have we set up some sort of transit system for this area pretty sure we have um trams yeah we have we have a tram stop right here right yeah so they're coming down here what are they waiting for look at the rock in the road we just got, there's rock problems in this city. We're just being overtaken by rocks. Maybe it's like the volcano erupted. So I want to know where are all those people going? I guess they all kind of split up. We didn't really get, oh, because we do have a stop right here. That's good. And then, I mean, we have our little transit terminal over here. And look how many people are waiting here too. I just love it when I see all those people waiting for the the transit's so good. And so I think that is it. If you guys enjoyed this build out, go ahead and hit that like button. If you are not subscribed, please consider doing so. It really does help out the channel a lot. It uh, sends a, a message to YouTube that you like the content and that it's a good channel and it helps me to grow and everything. Um, if you're interested in another downtown build out, go ahead and hit the video on your screen. And thank you so much for watching. I will catch you on the next episode.